Hey guys, I'm here with my first edition uh, on my new channel of bands you need to listen to because they're amazing. And I'm gonna hold off on the like best of just because I have so many artists that I've discovered in the last couple of weeks that I wanted to share with you. The first one I saw at Music Fest last weekend. Well, not last weekend, but like kind of last weekend. They're called Crack Spells. So much of their new album sounds like 80s synth pop. Like their, their album sounds like it comes from a John Hughes movie and I love it. Smooth, synthy, shoegazing 80s music, and it's lovely. And they're pretty awesome live, too, and adorable. I like them a lot. Probably my favorite discovery from Music Fest this year. The next band I discovered online, um, kind of by happenstance, they are called Snowmantled Love, and they just put out their first EP, and they're really, really, like, lovely, low-key, acoustic -y music. Their album's on Bandcamp that you can download for free, and it. I'll, I'll put links to all of these below. The, the girl in the band has a really kind of like contemporary interesting voice, and it's really, really just like lovely to listen to. I'm not necessarily one for female voices. I tend to like male voices better, but I really like her voice, so. Snowmantled Love. The next one was a band that I discovered at the show last night when I went and saw Lost Lander again. And I'm just going to keep reminding you about how much I love Lost Lander because I love Lost Lander a lot. They are called Royal Canoe and they opened for them and they were so amazing. Like I hadn't heard of their music and so I was talking to Dave beforehand and I was like, oh I haven't heard any of their stuff. He's like, they're awesome. They're the like my favorite band that we've ever toured with. Basically six of them. The lead singer looks like Josh from the West Wing and that's all you need to know. Okay. But there, there were six of them, two drummers, so many synthesizers, so many effects vocals, and it was just like, it was so good. Like, Andy said they kind of reminded him of Mew, which was a good comparison. Royal Canoe, they're Canadian, and they're amazing. Like, they were so good live. And legit, the lead singer does look like Josh from the West Wing. He wasn't lying. And then, another artist that I feel like an idiot for not discovering up until I saw him on SNL the other day is Frank Ocean. And I am not necessarily a hip-hop fan. Not. And Frank Ocean actually used to be in Odd Future. I don't remember how the whole thing was, like what their whole name was, but Tyler the Creator was in Odd Future and I hate Tyler the Creator. But um, Frank Ocean is another guy who has come out of Odd Future to do his own solo stuff. And his new album, Channel Orange, is fucking amazing. He sang two songs on SNL the other day and John Mayer was like playing guitar with him randomly, which was cool because I like John Mayer as a guitarist. He's kind of an asshole, but he's a great musician. Frank Ocean, he had like this great falsetto and my, when my mom was watching it today, she's like, who does he remind me of? Like the falsetto and the way that he sang his song Thinking About You reminded my mom and me, like once I realized it, reminded of us of Maxwell doing a woman's work the Kate Bush cover from the 90s and it's a spot-on comparison like it's beautiful and haunting and amazing and blah and I don't usually talk about hip-hop artists on here but he's really good and it's cool because he's the first hip-hop artist in at least recent years that I've ever heard of who has come out as gay and that's awesome because the US hip-hop scene is generally really homophobic so it was nice to hear that Yay, Frank Ocean! Um, and then another band that I actually discovered through Adrian. Uh, they opened for We Are Scientists in the UK when she actually went to go see them in the UK. And they're called Tall Ships, and they're so good! Like, it takes a lot to please Adrian for a band that opens for We Are Scientists because we're like, we're serious about We Are Scientists. Like, I have a wristband that says, What would was do? We're that serious. I, it's so hard to describe indie rock bands anymore because it's like indie rock, blah, but they're really good. And then a couple of bands that you probably have heard of, but I just wanted to express my undying love for them and how much their new albums or EPs are amazing. So I saw the Hives at Music Fest last week and it was... Like, I can back up the fact that, like, press people say around the world that they're one of the best live bands on earth. Because they are. They were so good. Like, their new album is amazing and Wait a Minute has been stuck in my head for like three days. Veni Vidi Vicious came out 10, 11, 11 years ago. The fuck? 
Yeah, they're by no means a new band. They've been around for like 14 years, but uh, their new album is awesome. And if you haven't heard it, go do that now. Exterminate! Yay. The next band is one that I have talked about in a video before. And they're not that small of a band, they're quite large. Um, but I just wanted to express how much I love the new EP. And that it's Frightened Rabbit. And I love them so much. I've seen them play twice now, and I haven't gotten a chance to meet them yet, sadly, and too much to the dismay of my friend Susie, who's seen them like 30 times. No joke, I'm not exaggerating. Their new EP, State Hospital, is so good, and I'm so excited that they're coming back to Seattle next month. Oh, like, and they're gonna play at Numo, so it's gonna be awesome and beautiful. I'm so excited to see Frightened Rabbit again, and that I finally can meet them and be like, I'm Susie's friend, because, like, they know her. Like, they tell other people about her. Fright and Rabbit! Mmm, so excited! I think that's it. And if you're wondering what I'm wearing on my lips, because usually you guys are, uh, I'm wearing Hue for MAC, and then Pink Ice Color Burst Lip Gloss from Revlon on top of it. So it's a little glittery, shiny, glossy nude lip because that's a thing that I'm doing now. And the lighting probably makes me look really yellow right now. I should just record videos during the day. Why can't I record videos during the daylight? Oh, because I'm a night person and it gets dark super early. And I went to Marshalls with my mom tonight because a Marshalls just opened up in my hometown and it's very dangerous because, remember the shoes that I told you about from Portland, the Dolce Vita Oxfords? They have the cheetah print ones. They have them. Seriously, the Marshalls is going to be bad for my bank account because up until now I really only had like Target to shop at here. Now there's a Marshalls. I think I'm done. Expect some makeup videos in the near future. I need to get that planned and like filmed and shit, but there will be a big one happening relatively soon. And also if you haven't subscribed to my 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 music channel like i i've had that channel for a long time uh, it's where i post live videos um from shows and i have a couple from the lost lander show from last night that i will be at least one i'll be posting yeah subscribe to that channel because uh i have a lot of good songs on there a lot of good songs on there and actually one thing you guys should just subscribe to to help like discover new bands because I can't always make these videos, and I can't always be up to date. I can't always be telling you guys about bands. Sometimes you have to find them yourselves, okay? I love you. KEXP uh, is a local radio station in Seattle. It's like the best radio station ever. And they do live videos in, in the studio, like live sessions, and then they post those videos on their YouTube channel. And they literally post videos like almost every day. And they have like thousands of videos on their channel of local and international artists. So if you if you want to just like have some cool awesome background music, like just play through the KEXP songs. There will be a Lost Lander session up there. I don't know when, but I attended one of the sessions at Music Fest and it was awesome cuz Lost Lander was playing and you'll probably get to see me dancing like a fool in the video because I love Lost Lander, so <laughs> I was excited for them because our favorite radio station and one of my favorite Portland bands got to be together. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!